Welcome back to Disco, guys. Welcome back to the church. So, interesting episode last time. We finished off the crypto, excuse me, zoologist quest. We've still got to go and talk to Morel and Lena at some point in the morning, I imagine. Um, I don't know. It looks like we're not really going to get back to the whirling in rags for a night's sleep. We might do. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to be over on this side, which means we might miss out on, a, on some thoughts or some nightmares. But I think we might get, we'll probably get back there maybe at around four or something, which still means we could, we'd get a few hours there. Kimmy might, you, Kimmy needs his, oh, hang on. Kimmy needs his beauty sleep. Um, I haven't changed my outfit back, so let's do that. Uh, I'd like my usual boost of items. Um, why have I got the logic shirt on? No, I'd like to keep the suggestion. See, that's a double plus. Well, that's a jacket. Um, do we even have any shirts that's a... Yeah, we've got the drama bump. Or... I'm not losing one on empathy, though. Yeah, let's just... You can't even see my shirt anyway. <laughs> let's stick that on. There's two white shirts, though. That's what I always forget. We've got a minus one on visual calculus and minus one on shivers. But we've got the boosts to empathy and then empire sabbathar yeah we do have a point but i need to i probably need to put it into drama for clashy but we got to get some more who knows a machine stands in the corner watched over by the figures on the stained glass window it's turned on and quivering with soft electricity maybe we should have brought the thing from the building here another radio computer and this time it's already turned on. He seems cautious around the machine. These machines sometimes harbor traps, he thinks. Alarm systems and the like. Okay. Let's be careful. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. Yeah, but this machine looks just like the one in the doomed commercial area. It's also quite similar to the one we have down at the station. Must be the same model. He inspects the machine's framework, careful not to touch anything. The one you saw earlier was the Ream Civic. This is the Ream Prefect, a model number RC7024, equipped with a Fell mainframe and a Ream compatible interim printer. Wait, 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 just let me investigate. You see fluorescent play and print buttons on the keyboard. A hatch connected to the central compartment is wide open. The lieutenant says nothing. You see the machine's glowing frame reflected back from his diamond-shaped glasses. You're free to proceed. We'll have a look inside first. Behind the hatch sits a cube-like crisscross of filaments, smoldering in the dark like fireflies. Silver tape on the side says, in black marker, Log, February to March. Another filament memory. Press play to talk with the repeater. Hey, we might regret it, like Kimmy said, but I'm investigating. The speaker comes to life. Static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. An old lady greets you. Her voice sounds a hundred years old. Good evening. Votre accident on Sandrun. This is the East Insulindian Repeater Station 1. Please repeat. Is this the personal log? It's the same old woman you spoke with through the radio computer in the doomed commercial area. Why do we have to have such clumsy answers? Yvonne, it's me again. How are you? <laughs> I looked inside the core, but the tape on the filament just said log, February, March. Fortress accident, like the one in the doomed commercial area. Fortress accident, like the one in the doomed commercial area. I have two machines registered to this company name in Martinez. One on Sambrun, the other on Rue de Saint-Guilaine. Saint-Brun, that's the church. And Rue de Saint-Guilaine, that's the doomed commercial area. Mm -hmm. Anything else I can help you with? Yvonne, it's me again. Good, thank you. Please repeat, is this the personal log? Yeah, looked inside the core. Good. Please repeat the password. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. Maybe he knows something. Hmm. I don't know. Received. 
Is there any sleep no. The machine's keyboard is still. Okay. We can't run in here. Let's go talk to the vampire. Yeah, there's like an acoustic oh, hey, sweet Wayne. spot. There's coffee in the back. Oh, wait. I meant the mother's love. Yeah. Coffee in the back. Something familiar about that. Coffee and stale cookies. Um, what was that about coffee? I feel like I've heard it somewhere before. Look, man, I'm at liberty to talk about the sacred blaze of the mother's glorious heart, but not about the coffee. All right. Uh, have you by any chance heard the Vejita say the password to the radio computer? Too many times, Esse. You need it for something. Yes. Surveys are a good way to fish for personal information, especially in the name of public safety. I'm doing a survey of passwords and passcodes, identifying regional trends. It's in the public. It's in the interest of public safety, of course. Just tell, tell me what's the password. Yes, it's for a first-degree murder investigation in Martinez. Honestly, I just want to break into a radio computer. See what's on it. All right, a bit of drama. I'm doing a survey. Don't sweat it, Vato. The password is afterlife death. That is true. But what comes after death? Darkness. What you think of that? Makes me almost pity La Nilita Pequeña when I hear it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Climber Man. I think we're done here, Esse. Oh. The figure crawls off into the darkness above. That was an interesting conversation. Yes. However, I'm still not sure how it's relevant to our... No, it's not, Kimmy. We have a password, though. I wonder what we're going to learn from this. The machine's keyboard is... The speaker comes to... Yes. Good evening. Let's That's try again. Good. Please repeat the password. After life, death. Good. I have unlocked the filament. After ending the call, please press print to access the filament. For press accident, is there anything else I can do for you today? No, thank you, Yvonne. Sleep well, for press accident. She says as her voice disappears into a whirl of static. The machine's keyboard is still illuminated, revealing fluorescent play and print buttons. The printer prints out a long text document with dated paragraphs. It looks a bit like someone's journal. Let's have a read. The first entry made on the 4th of February, 51, by an unknown author, is short and concise. Arrived at the church, the door was boarded up, so I used the crowbar to get inside. Looks like the place has been deserted. Nothing out of the ordinary, but I'll ask around. Need to figure out how to get the electricity in. The lieutenant leans closer, scouring the printout over your shoulder. Just as you finish reading, he looks up, muttering under his breath. 4th of February. That's over a month ago. Whoever set up those machines has been here for quite a while. Think it might be connected to the case, Kimmy? Our case? No, I don't think so. It must be some local eccentric. His eyes wander to the various machines around him. Let's read the second entry. 6th of February, 51. Had a little chat with the local fishermen. Said I shouldn't go near that place. That the church was spooky and ridden with narcotics. It's a little spooky, all right. Still haven't figured out the electricity. Number three. 7th of February, 51. Finally got the electricity in. Next on the agenda, a new antenna. I'm thinking Esca series, something advanced. Why would you need an antenna? Why would anyone need any of this equipment here? <laughs> he steps on a wire running on the ground, inspecting it with his boot. Number four. 8th of February, 51. Bought the antenna, had some problems setting it up. Called Simo for help. Heard the others are back to making art. Drinking somewhere out of town. Sulislav started a rock band again. Lexi has been seen asking money from strangers, but at least the artists have their act together. They're qualified labor. 
they can get work anywhere. Graphic design, ads. The programmers are doing fine too. I mean, they're programmers. The writers though, they're fucked. I just have to find out what caused that data loss and be done with it. Still don't understand how it managed to wipe out the backup when the backup wasn't even connected to the front. I know, I know. Everyone thinks it's impossible. They say I must be lying. I'm here to set it right. The data loss. Seems like something to do with radio computers. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about them to understand what the author is saying. Mm. Something about the backup data getting destroyed and how everyone thought it was the author's fault. Let's just keep reading. Hmm. Artists, programmers, Lexi, who are they? I think these people worked in the radio computer games business. The one we saw in the Doom commercial okay. area. They must be our former co-workers. Number five. 12th of February, 51. Brought some food from the grocery store. Apparently, there's a strike going on in the harbor. Definitely not happy to see the Martinez people again. Everything's now set up in the church. Going to start working tomorrow, 8 a.m. The strike. We are nearing the date of the murder. He strokes his chin. Keep reading. I'm interested now. I want to know what's that radio anomaly that sent this person here in the first place. Number six. 25th of February, 51. I've been sending data up to Linto for a while now, trying to recreate the data loss, but nothing. Didn't even feel like logging in the disappointment. But I did discover a curious audio-spatial anomaly at the back of the church. I've named it the Swallow. It swallows sound. Need to get some mics. Is she talking about? The lieutenant looks to his right towards the silence. Number seven. 28th of February, 51. Yes, the first recordings confirm that the Swallow is real and I'm not just losing my mind. It's a pillar of silence, with a diameter of approximately three meters. Seems like the higher I go, the less I record. This might be a coincidence, or it could be connected to the data loss that led me here. The pillar of silence. She is talking about the silence. Is she suggesting it's more than just an architectural quirk? But what could it be? The lieutenant doesn't answer. He follows your gaze. Studying the basins, the water shines in them. No ripples. Number eight. March 51. Some kind of young disco men have appeared next to the church. I've been trying to record the silence to find the epicenter, but now it turns out I've also been capturing the future of dance music. One neo-disco song over and over again. Fortunately, the song is so monotonous, I was able to devise an algorithm to factor it out. The other day, one of the disco men came in. Before I could even say hello, she got scared and left. Good, I don't want anyone distracting me from my work. That disco man must be a cell. Yeah, she must be describing a cell. A girl on the ice? Sounds like her, yes. Number nine. March 51. I got a call from the repeater station. Someone has tried to access the radio computer in our old office in Martinez. Can't do anything about it. The storekeeper still doesn't want to let me inside the building. Thinks I'm part of some kind of curse. How Martinez of her. That's me. And that must be pleasant. I knew it wasn't a good idea to meddle with the machine. No, no. It was a great idea. You're learning things. This is how you learn things about machines. Exactly. Number 10. March 51. A new two meter aux cable. Noodles. Crackers. Ping pong energy drinks. Water. Toothpaste. Gum. Also, some canned air. Your reading is interrupted by the sound of the church door opening. A strange one makes straight for the radio computer. Uh oh. Uh, Sona? Hello? Breaking into my radio computer, I see. 
She glares at you as she holds down the off button for several seconds. The machine reboots. Yes, you are breaking in, but not into her radio computer. You're a master circuit bender. I do apologize for the intrusion, madame. We are with the RCM, you see. I can assure you I'm an expert circuit bender. I'm not breaking into your computer. I'm using it to access coalition military data links. We're here on a side case representing certain music venue organizers. We're not just breaking in. I'm pursuing a mysterious lead searching for my lost identity. I'm a circuit bender. There are no coalition military data links. And even if there was, you couldn't access them over a civilian network. Uh oh, she barely looks up from the keyboard. Yes, I could. I'm a cybernetic god. I'm using your Rem Perfect to command commandeer Coalition Warship Archer. I will turn its cannons against its masters. You're right, I'm just a drunk cop. I don't know how to do anything interesting with radio computers. Yeah, yes, I could. I'm a cybernetic god. That's nonsense. You're just the police officer. She barely looks up from the keyboard. You hear the machine whir back to life. Now, please give me some room. I need two seconds to see that you haven't destroyed anything. We should talk to her. After she has rebooted the machine. Okay, so do we just need to leave and come back in? Probably. We snooped. Would, if we would have left straight away, would she have still come back in? Who knows? Let's see how this works. So like that thing said about taking drugs to raise learning caps. Um, if we then, would, wouldn't the drugs then wear off? But if we put the point in... That wouldn't... We'd still keep the higher what skill. What is it? Woman still hunched over the keyboard, greatly illuminated by the purring machine. Um, Hey, are you the lead programmer of We're All Untethered by any chance? Yes. Or... No. Not anymore. That project is dead. She doesn't seem surprised to be recognised. Rather sad. Something passes over her face before she straightens her back. Didn't break anything, did I? No, you just printed out my personal log and wasted some paper. Doesn't look like a big loss to her. Who are you, though? I am Sona Luukkanen Kilde, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident and RSA radios. I have over 16 years of programming experience, and I'm proficient in both Vox and Orbis languages. Okay. If you're not here to hire me, I don't really know how I can help you. She turns back to the terminal. That still doesn't answer what she's doing in an abandoned church. Um, have you seen the crab man? No. Nope. What? But you know he's around? Yes. Oh. He's seen you. And? The crab man's seen you. I don't care. I don't care about crab men. She barely looks up, now tinkering with the machine's printer. What are the machines for? I brought them here. These are my machines. Please don't touch anything. Um, why do you need an antenna? I use the AR-1 as my RAIN prefix processing unit. That's your radio computer, right? Mm-hmm. And the antenna is its processing unit. Yes. You really don't know anything about radio computers, do you? She stopped working now. No, I'm a master circuit, master circuit vendor. I know everything. I know a little. All right. Well... All radio computers perform operations up on air. So in order to gain more processing power, you need to invest in a good antenna. On air? On the front. The unified front of radio waves. Licensed and controlled by Lintel in the East in Cylindic region. Stop being so impatient with me. It's all around us. That's what on air means. Oh, right, okay. And the AR1 is a good antenna. I guess it is. So far, I've been quite satisfied with it. Martinez is an unstable region with bad coverage, and the operation has been surprisingly stable. But it's not the cheapest one on the market. So I wouldn't recommend it for your regular red tape operations. 
Razor 1000 is a foolproof line for civilians. Anyway, you should do some research before you decide to buy anything. Ask around, compare yes, yes, the prices. Yes. There are many milieus dedicated to that sort of thing. She liked to tell me this. It calmed her nerves. And what are you doing with this one? I'm working. The machine seems almost alien with its pulsing core. The light casts in her face in a strange shadow. Working on what? Could you... Could you just... Shh... For a moment? Or get to the point. I really need to focus on something. Okay. It's not just rudeness. It really is hard to concentrate on whatever she needs to do. And you're not helping. What about the balls of water? They are connected to my rain prefect. Whatever you do, just please don't move them, okay? Thanks. Alright, I'll not touch anything. Great. She dwells back into the glowing terminal. What are you doing in an abandoned church? You really like those questions, don't you? There's a hint of amusement in her tired eyes. I'm a police officer, it's my job to ask questions. You're occupying a public space, I need to know what you're doing here. I'm conducting scientific research here. You can't throw me out. She says, ready to stand her ground. What kind of research? I'm looking for the location of a two millimeter hole in the world. She's looking for a disruption in the radio waves. That's what her personal log said. The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. Is the hole connected to the data loss in your journal? Yes, that's what led me here. But I suspect it might be something a bit more complicated than that. She stares at the burnished antenna on a nearby table. A hole in the world, what do you mean? Exactly. What does it mean? Up to now, it has been impossible to say what it is because it's impossible to measure nothing. There's something frantic about her as she locks her gaze with you, eyes shining like pearls. She's obsessed with this. What do you think it is? What qualities does nothing have? How do you measure something that does not exist? She su she's suddenly absorbed in the conversation, waiting for your answer. That's a little above your pay grade at the moment. Oh. Hold on a moment. Does it mean we're now living in a world that has holes in it? I can't even understand how we're talking about something that doesn't exist, that will measure it. I don't know. I'm not here for some science. I just want to solve a murder so I can go home. Does it mean we're living in a world with holes in it? I don't know. Are we? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. But how do I figure it out? I, I don't understand how. You measure it by its surroundings. By that which does exist. Which is what I've been trying to do. Mm -hmm. I've tried using hydro transducers to record the silence. To find out where it begins. But honestly, it's not progressing very well. She grows silent, staring at her circle of basins. It looks like some ancient ritual. But does it have anything to do with necroplasmic life forms? Ghosts, in everyday parlance. What about ghosts? Ghosts? No, I don't think so. I don't believe in ghosts. What, other, what about other supernatural entities? I don't believe in them either. What not many know is, necroplasma exists. Great. What are we talking about? And why? Where's the hole? Somewhere underneath those roof beams, I assume. She looks up, eyes trying to pierce the pitch black heights above, but without much success. Oh, so that's where Crabman's going. Only a faint crisscross of rafters can be made out from the dark. Most of the tower disappearing into the shade. Strange things may flourish in the dark. Why there? There's this place at the back of the church. A place where all audible vibrations seem to decease. I've named it the Swallow. And the higher you go, the less you record. The Pillar of Silence? Mm. Are you sure it's not just an architectural quirk? She's not gonna like that, Kimmy. Maybe. But it's oddly close to the physical coordinates of the data loss that led me to this place. And this is where the Crabman lives. I know. You don't think the crab man might be somehow responsible here? No, I don't. She sounds mildly annoyed by this line of questioning. Her hands type in hundreds of commands into the machine. You said that the research isn't going well, why not? Because it's just trial and error, trying to locate the swallow, the exact point in space. 
And I don't have a... You know what? It would be really helpful if you could just stop talking and let me work. She stops mid-sentence. That's all I wanted to know about the scary 2mm hole in the world for now. Great. Thanks. How do you feel about anodic dance music? What? I hate it. Um. Okay, wow, that was quick. Why do you hate it? Maybe I'd have to be on drugs to get it, but to a sober mind it just sounds like uninspired rock whipping. No idea what it has to do with either dancing or music. Right, right, but how do you feel about a club for anodic dance music? This is about those speed freaks in the tent, isn't it? I've got some news for you. It's not a nightclub they want to build here. She looks up, shaking her head. What, a, a drug den? What do they want to build? Take a guess, why don't you? A youth centre would be nice. A petting zoo, a place for animals, maybe some community space to help the elderly. I'm still convinced they want to establish a nightclub for anodic dance music. They said it's their dream. I can't believe they got you so easily. Go have another talk with those up-and-coming entrepreneurs, will you? Thanks. Good luck. I'm not coming in there. <laughs> Alright, fine. No. I thought she might know something about a hanging or something anecdotal. Tell Andre about Son Sona's thoughts on the nightclub. All right, off we go to talk to the ravers. I'm not allowed to run in church, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just a bit annoyed we haven't found any of these locations that the sniper might have been from. All right, people. Let's talk to um, a cell first. The ice here is thick enough to walk on. You're right, a cell. Hello again. Um. Can we not talk to her about the crab man? Oh, that. She's less prone to blurt it out, crab man. Go ahead. Right, she's got no new dialogue then. In we go. Or I go. Alright there, chaps. Uh, I don't know if we can give this music to uh, Egghead. The large headed. Incremental progress! Yeah! I don't know if this means we lose the opportunity to sing karaoke, though. Hey, I have a tape with me. Maybe you can use it to improve Van Eyck's jam. Tape! Yeah! Spins the tape until the space escapes! Yeah! Never mind. Normal! Stay um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll save that for karaoke and then I'll bring it back. I see you're here again. Oh, I saw... sign, man. Did I mention getting us into the church without? I saw a sticker on the padlock. Can you tell me anything about it? A sticker? You mean the yellow one? Can you describe it to me? Why describe it if you already know what I mean? So I can hear you do it. Sometimes the outside gaze helps us reflect on things. Noid, don't bother our guests with your games. Piss off, Andre. Me and Mr. Cop are trying to discuss art. Art? You shouldn't talk like that. Yeah, show some respect. Right, noted. Sorry. Anyway, what was it like? An off-handed sorry, if there ever was one. Eh, uh, let's show him. Seems like my creation has found its way into the legal bureaucracy. What did you want to ask about it? What is it? The dead guy smiling. What do you mean with it? He defeated history. We are living in the age of history, and in the eyes of history, we are always already dead. How can we ever smile then? Because history is a lie, and so are its deaths. The present moment and life are the hardcore. The hardcore expels death. Okay. Or maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's just really ecstatic about the beats. I'm thinking we should sell this. 
Yeah, sure. It should be sold, but not by us. Okay. Well, then. I guess one could write an entire treatise on the thing. But what for? What about now? Are the signs all right now? Nah. You heard me. Fine. Hi again. So, uh, how things going? Um. Hang on. Goodbye, officer. Let's get our logic boosts on. We've got some stuff to boost logic, right? Let's talk to him first. This might boost it. Hi again. So About the uh, church. Uh, and what happened? I talked to the crab man. Oh man, who is he? What did you think? He seemed okay, to be honest. Very spiritual. He gave me this odd lecture on alcoholism before rambling on about mother's love. You were right, he's a true narcomaniac. And the way he climbs, it was terrifying. Yeah, he gave me this odd lecture on alcoholism before rambling on about mother's love. Really? Huh. Interesting. What's just he doing in the church? Just preaching and praying from the looks of it. He clearly enjoys the physical activity. Guy climbs like a freak. There's something sinister going on under the building's roof. I think he's getting high or something. He's just preaching and praying. No matter. Is he going to be a problem? The paranoid young man mumbles gruffly. Yeah, Noid is right. Let's get back to the point. What are we going to do about him? These guys will never catch him. You will never catch him. There's nothing to do. Of course he's a problem. He's a crab man. He keeps himself physically active, thinks spiritual thoughts and doesn't drink. Who am I to evict such a person? As far as I can tell, he's not going to leave. He'll climb around up there. And guys, you'll never catch him. Actually, he told me he wouldn't mind the nightclub at all. Yeah, you'll never catch him. I don't know, man. Doesn't it feel like a major hindrance to you? A spooky guy climbing around when all the guests are trying to have nice, friendly hyper time? Um, you're just going to have to live with it. I guess it's not a massive problem, now that I think of it. Everyone is welcome to dance till the morning light. Yeah! Maybe... Uh, I guess we'll figure something out. Okay, but what about the other spooker? The one in Grandma's clothes? <laughs> Did you see her? I was using the mainframe when Sona, the former lead programmer of Fortress Accident, appeared. A programmer? That's odd. What was she like? Did you ask her about the nightclub? She said you guys haven't been completely honest with me about your plans. Come on, man. Who will you trust? The spooky programmer or us? We just want to make the world a better place. Feel the love! Get down and feel it! The stuffy tent muffles the last two words. The command fails to impress. I'm kind of feeling it, but the love? No, I'm not really feeling it at all. You'll get there, believe me. When we've got our gear set up, things will be flowing and pumping. Anyway, now that it's settled, how did she see? I mean, disposition-wise, about the dance club idea. Yeah, Oda 9. Rocking it or dropping it? She didn't like it, mate. What a pity. That's my favourite thing in the world. And she doesn't like it at all. A shame. What can we do now? Do you see a way out of this jam? And into a laser lit future of dance and unity? Unity! Dance! She made it very clear that she won't leave until her own project is finished. And you can't just evict her? I could go for another try. Bring down the hammer of the law. No, I can't evict her. Look at you, honor man. No, Noid. He's right. Maybe we've approached it the wrong way after all. I'm sure there's a workaround. We can make a deal not to bother her. If that's okay with her, we only want to get in the church and spread the joy and ecstasy of music. The lines in the dark exist. Coexist. Shut up, Egghead. At least Crabman seems like an advanced being. He's hard. He'll understand. Yeah. He can do his climbing thing in the tower. And the programmer, does she like anodic dance music? She absolutely doesn't. Really, truly despises it. She gets down, I mean, who doesn't just listen to that crazy pulse? No, she hates it. Egghead cannot believe what you just said. It makes him pump the jam a little slower for a moment. But then he returns to the full swing of it. 
No worries. We'll figure it out. If coexisting fails, you can always muscle her out, right? If it's all okay with you, what do you think? Uh, I'm not going to throw her out, but I'll try convincing her. Excellent. Good luck, my friend. Uh, this isn't going to get much better, is it? Yeah, we, we could really do with that check though, right? There's one. Oh, there's two. Yeah, and the shirt. I think that was it, right? Huh? Not you. Hi again. So, uh, how are things going? Please. Please. This would have reopened us, um, well. I've, uh, the last episode I hit like three, didn't I? Or maybe even four. This is gonna miss. A number of oh. things don't add up. Let's take a look. Hit me with your rhythm stick, right? Let's let's do it. How about gather around, kids? <laughs> okay, kids, gather round. The young speed freak puts down a busted capacitor and looks at you. The one with the large head seems very enthusiastic about whatever you have planned. Their would-be leader is less amused. Sometime in the past, I'm not sure when and where, but betrayal was involved. I fell sick and became the shadow you see now. But before that, I have reason to believe I was a police detective. But you still are! Thank you for your kind words, but everyone in here sees I'm a disgrace to the uniform. I was good enough in this job to be awarded the rank of Lieutenant Euphrater. I could have been captain. Imagine that. What happened? Disco happened. It smelt so impossibly sweet. Life tore me a new arsehole. I did. I happened to myself. Disco happened. I've been trying to say we need the next step in dance music to happen fast. Shut it. What? I have! I've said that! Now, obviously, that might as well have been a thousand years ago, but there's still some detective left in me. The young speed freak is silent. He senses something is wrong. Serna said you've been lying about your plans. Your answer was very unconvincing. Your girl Acel is high as a kite out there. It must have been hard for you boys to keep sober for this meeting. This isn't the mark makings of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for manufacturing drugs. Oh yeah. Sona said you've been lying about your plans. Your answer was very unconvincing. Fuck man. It's difficult to get along with some people, but we're trying to make an effort. We are on a mission here. Your girl Acel is high as a kite out there. We don't need drugs to be hardcore. Shut the fuck up, Egg. Maybe not today, Egg, but you need drugs to get through the days when you're not expecting me. Climb down from the equestrian monument, cop man. Consciousness is new to the universe. We all have our ways to ease the shock. So, does the cell need drugs more than you? We know she has a problem, man. We're working on it. She didn't exactly have a smooth adolescence. Underneath, he is furious she ruined it for them. This means trouble for their female friend. Bottom line is, I know. What exactly is it you know? That this isn't the makings of a club. It's a tent full of laboratory equipment for making drugs. I have no idea how you arrived at that conclusion, but it's wrong. Look, we even have speakers. He points at the speaker. One speaker. They have one speaker. Where is his friend? Did he lose his friend? You have no headphones. Wouldn't Acel need her headphones to spin tape? That nosefed in here for its active ingredient. The distilled water, cornerstone of, the, of a clean lab. The, the, the ether in the air. 
A useful solvent, good for getting acting agent out of a solution. Where's his friend? What do you mean, friend? The other speaker, you've only got one. It's a one speaker system. It's monodynamic. You wouldn't know the first thing about sound reproduction in a novic music. Other speaker. You don't have any headphones. What do you know about spinning tape? Nothing. And what about the Nosafed? He said it was for his nose. What more do you want? Distilled water, cornerstone of a clean lab. And of all cellular based life. What's your point, Lawbringer? Ether in the air, a useful solvent. Good for getting acting agent out of a solution. Make up your mind. First it's the sweat, then it's the ether. He smiles nervously. Then there's there's no need for me to pile in any more, is there? No shit. He sounds tired. In short, he tried to use a police detective to set up a drug lab. That's come on, that's Against the law. I meant to say not true. What are we gonna do with you lads? What do you mean do? There's resignation in his voice. He's almost ready to drop the act. It wouldn't take a lot of pushing. Mm. The optimal way to go about this would be indifference. It begins by you telling him you don't care about any of this. We do this lawman style. First you tell me everything, then I pass judgment. You tell me what's really going on and we'll work from there. I can be lenient. I don't really care. I just wanted to crack the case. Do what you want and I'll do what I want. Do we go with em so empathy would be this empathy would be this one. The optimal way to go about this would be indifference. It begins by telling him you don't care about any of this. Um, let's go with suggestion, I think. I don't really care. I just wanted to crack the case. Do what you want and I'll do what I want. Really? He sounds relieved. Of course not really. I'm a cop. Now tell me what's going on immediately. Really, really. I wanted to ask you about something else. You wanted to just ask me about something else. Or you can tell me the plan for the ch what the what plan for the church really was. He thinks for a moment, then opens his mouth, but closes it again, then finally raises his hand. Should have gone with empathy. Things are just way too hard for an entrepreneur in this city. It's not like we're not going to turn the church into the wickedest club in East Rivershall. Because we are! We totally are! Ah, screwed that up. We just got to turn it into a speed lab first. <laughs> you know, to get our foot in the door. What did you need me for? Like I told you, spooky arseholes moved in while I was getting all this stuff together. A month ago, the place was empty, and now it's all spooked up. Yeah, they're not spooky at all, are they? No, man. They're spooky, all right. It's just that they would also probably call the police if we started cooking speed in there. But the sign was way off, too. I couldn't feel the love at all. So, what now? This is it. Judgment time. <laughs> Give me your cash, ask for a bribe first. Pack up and report to Precinct 41, arrest them. Get lost, I don't want to see you again, evict them. Let's do this clean, no speed lab, just a club for anodic music. Proceed with the club. It wouldn't work without a lab. Do what you have to to keep the club alive. Proceed with both. I feel like saying to just do the club is incredibly naive, right? They're just going to do the speed lab anyway, surely. I mean, even if they started the speed lab, they're just going to get messed up by the Hardy Boys for moving in on their turf, right? The 
The thing is, Sona's not going to be finished with her project anytime soon, so I don't really want to have to kick her out, and she's working on something so fascinating, right? Sorry, lads. I think I'm going to tell them to get lost and evade them. And I'm sure it would be awesome to start the club. That's the problem. I'm thinking, like, if they started the club, how awesome it would look in the church, right? But I really don't want to evict um, Sona. I just, I don't know. Do I just want to take the, the opinion that they're just a bunch of smackheads? They're just a bunch of drug dealers. And this is just a front. So I think we should just tell them to get lost, man. That's what I feel like I'd want to do. I think because just because Sona's working on something so interesting in there, if it was just Crabman, I'd probably tell them to proceed with the club. But Sona's working on something that's so fascinating there. That might be connected to the pale in some way. Right? Sorry, it's just someone... Uh, someone left a comment about me playing the game too, like... Um, seriously or something. So, uh, but I just... I'm gonna... I'm, it's, it's not gonna affect the way I play or anything, but it's just... That's just in the back of my mind, just because I read it before. Um, and... Uh, that's just what, this is what I want to do, and I'm, I'm not going to try and change what I'm doing just because nobody once said anything, so... Get lost, I don't want to see you again. No, please! Egghead presses stop on the tape player. In the silence, you can hear the wind howl outside. There needs to be a club for anodic music in there! Everyone hates each other! Everybody hates it here! It's all just drugs and we're slaves and I can't! We are running out of time! Without his smile, Egghead looks heartbroken and older than you thought he was. He looks almost as old as you. We need a win. I promise this will be a win. We won't cook speed in there. We'll do it clean. We'll do it true. We'll do it sober and real and beautiful. This will be a victory for the light. Ah, oh, bollocks, man. I'm not being conned. No debate. Get lost. I'm not letting you turn it into some... Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, I don't. It would be cool to see it as a nightclub, but that church does carry some kind of importance to the area, right? Even though I don't necessarily, you know, the the monument to Dolores Day. You know, she was like a tyrannical ruler, really. So. I'd, I'd, I guess that really doesn't need to be preserved, I suppose, but... <sighs> this is just a front, man. I just... The, the, the fact that they've already lied to me makes me feel like I don't... I just don't want to be conned, right? So, no. I'm not letting you take over the church. I think what Sona's doing is more interesting than the nightclub. I'm sorry if this is making me a bit lame, but I'm not... We're not I'm not having it, guys. I'm sorry. Fuck, man. I thought we were cool. Sorry. Pack it up, Egg. You should be glad I'm not arresting you. He doesn't even look at you. I feel bad. I feel bad. But they were a bunch of drug dealers, man. Let's just hope this doesn't mean a cell's going to get in trouble. Ah, oh, dang. I feel bad, but... I, d I just didn't want to get conned a second time. I feel like that's like a premature end to that quest line, which is a shame, but... Um, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I felt like doing. I feel like what Sona's doing in there with that like anomaly is a lot more interesting. For me personally, I'm sure the club would have been awesome, but it equally could have just net not even been a club. And when we visited them there, they were just cooking speed. 
right? Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. But it's 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 again, it's that feeling in a game where you don't you're you're wor you, you want to make the decision that just gives you more stuff to see and experience. Whereas I actually just, I want to base it on the actual situation and the fact that they were trying to con me and they were trying to lead me on in the first place. It's just a bit, just a bit daft. Uh, it just made me not trust him. So anyway, that feels like a natural spot to leave it, guys. So I'll leave that episode there. We'll pick it up from here next time and head back over to the Whirling in Rags. Um, I feel like we need to talk to Joyce, talk to Evra. Uh, we've got enough money to stay the night over again, so we'll get another dream with our good old limbic system. Um, we've, I've not really found any locations for the shot locations, but we might need to be um, in the daytime for that. But, yeah. Got a lot of other stuff to do. But we need to, we still need to talk to Clashy and Titus as well. Um, yeah, the scab leader. I, I'm I'm kind of putting that off because I don't want things to escalate too much with him, and we should really have all the information before we confront him. And we don't really know who the second one is just yet. So, yeah, we'll leave it there anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a like if you did. Just remember, everybody, never trust an on crate. I'll see you back in Revisha.